Friday morning, July 22nd, 2002. Or 2022. The land, did a little walk through. Back in May, we bushwhacked a trail through here, cleaned out both sides. I've been working with tractor, lever, anything possible to clean out the big rocks. Turn this into a pull through, turn around thing. Somewhere I want to tuck a little cabin. I think probably might be on this corner right here. Or maybe tucked down there. Nice to be able to look down that hill a little more, but it'd also be nice to get a little air through up on top, back up here. Time will tell. Maybe a lots of time. So, soon enough. Sorry about the odd reflections in the sun and the camera lens. So this was nothing but raw woods back in May and uh, real aggressive large rocks in there anywhere from you know, palm size up to the uh, you know, size of a five gallon pail or, or larger. So they were dug out and moved around and dispersed to the sides. And then I kind of leveled out what I could using a, a hole or a pick or a shovel or a rake or the tractor so I wouldn't waste a, I a decent class five. And uh, now that everything was level, I just decided to dump the class five down and complete the loop.
kind of a corner that cuts down to the to the right, which is north. Is uh, there were some real big rocks in here? Dug out many, and then dug out many more, and then many more. I kind of pushed everything forward what I could. In the corner, threw everything to the left, and uh, there's several buckets that I filled. Just kind of pulled up and threw the rocks into the bucket and dropped down. Down the way, I kept the round ones with the round ones, the square. Hard edged rocks and put them in that area in case I want to build a little retaining wall or, or something in the future, just kind of collating, uh, collating my rock shapes for future projects. see in this area just beyond the tractor bucket it drops down kind of steps down the hill there's two monster rocks in there that are just gonna have to live in the middle of the road trail because they're uh, they're big I can't even wiggle them I could drill them and break them with the feathers and wedges but right now if, uh, I'm up to that point uh, I might drill them it's kind of fun or leave them there and just add a little gravel around them they pop up in five years from now, then I will deal with them however I need to. We'll see. Picking rocks and leveling this little area here, go for the hoe, which for the size of the rocks and the amount of dirt in between the rocks, the hoe works awesome. This is just a, a cheap trupper or something like that, and the head keeps twisting out. It's kind of a pain in the ass when it comes right down to it. I have a new one that I uh, send cut send to actually cut out for me out of AR 500 quarter inch plate steel. Uh, that one will uh, just picked up a handle today. I will get it welded up and get it into use soon.
here's some parting shots of, uh, of the finished product. Everything looks just awesome. It's nice and firmed, all the all the packing in and out with the tractors. Got it, got it nice and firm. Back to pick up on top of the hill, and uh, well, it's a little bit narrow at this point, but I can always just make it a touch wider as, as life goes on. I got the gravel piles out of here. Dispersed a bunch of gravel down on here on the driveway. Beautiful breeze, not real buggy. I would guess the temperatures is 75. A few flies, but pretty mellow. Pretty cool. Improvements. I'm walking so fast here. Wait a minute. Where's my pickup at? Oh, wait. There, top of the hill. This nice gravel road here. Huh. Over the top, hit the shortness to go here. Another third will be. Then here's a couple of uh, photos of a night visitor we had on a Wednesday night at 106. Seems to be the same wolf. Walked in, walked out, literally within the same minute. 